Ah, está bien. Hey, guys oh, okay. and girls. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I had a small... <laughs> My lights went out for a moment, okay? Welcome back, teacher. Yes, in the router. I'm I'm actually using my cell phone my cell phone's internet right now because of um yeah. because my router has not come back up yet, you know. And in Hello. case, you know, in case in case uh, lights go out again, I can still use my in, my own internet because I'm using my cell phones. Anyways, so guys, um, I, I was telling you, I don't know if you heard this part, but I want you to practice, <laughs> guys. The examples. The examples that you have given me. Hold on. Oh, just guys, did anybody take a screenshot of the examples that you had given me? Someone did. Someone did? I'm, I'm gonna, guys, alguien tomó a screenshot de los examples que teníamos or not? Yes, I yes, I in the group of the WhatsApp. Está. Okay, all right. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so guys, what you are going to do is that you're going to turn them into passivos. Okay, so I'm going to group you together, you're going to work together, and you're going to turn them into passive voice. Okay, and then we're going to come back here and we're going to analyze them and solve them together. All right, sounds good. So let's work together, guys, in couples. Do we have any questions, guys? By the way, do we have any questions? All right, very good. Let's go, guys. Let's let's start working then. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Compartimos la pantalla. Yes, yes please. please. Okay. Pero está inhabilitada la función para compartir pantalla. No puedo. So, do, do me a favor, do them in your notebook, because you still have um, you still have the screenshot in the WhatsApp group, right? Yes. So, I mean, you can talk, right, and and share your answers, because you should all you three should have the same answers. Okay, tell me. Eh, dice ahí, el anfitrión inhabilitó la función de compartir las pantallas de los participantes. Yes, it's okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just, just use the, use, use what you got in the, on the, in the WhatsApp group. All right, you should all be in the WhatsApp group, right? So use that and uh, yes. finish the exercises like that, okay? All right, you good, Joanna? Hello. Okay. Are, you, are, you, are you good? All right. So let's use the, the, the screenshot, okay? Yes. Sí, pero no puedo compartir pantalla. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Es lo que estoy diciendo, guys. No importa si no pueden compartir pantalla. You can talk, uh, right? Pueden hablar sus respuestas, okay? Okay. Okay. The, the, the peer, the peer sentence. Is she cleaning the house? But write it down in your notebook. In your notebook. You I need, you need to have it in your notebook. Okay. I Tell think me. The house is clean by yeah. here. I don't know. The yeah. house. What the house is. Uh, red. Uh, the. The book was read. Um, Every day by she. Remember, guys, we use um, hi, maybe a hi, Raul. We have to use object. Hi. We have to use object pronouns. 
Okay, we have to use object pronouns when talking about um, when using it when using them as objects. Okay, so it's not so in this case it would be by him, right? Or by her if it is a she. Okay, you just keep that in mind. Uh, Catherine, I'm sorry. Uh, some hi, Catherine. Someone was supposed to be with you here. Raul, Gabby, everything good? Are you working on the exercises? No? What happened? Uh, yes, you're, yes. Um, I'm doing the exercise. <clears throat> All right, work together, okay? I want you to work together. Okay. Oh, okay. You should have the same answers, very good. Um, did you? Hello, guys. Um, do you, do you, need, do you, do you need any help? Or is everything good? Uh, we're good right now. Everything good, right? Very good. The book, the books is como es presente is read it by her. No, it's uh, by his como él. No, ¿cómo era? ¿Era she o he? No, he. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? El primero era she, el segundo era he. ¿O también era she? No, she. No sé si estoy en video, pero, pero en, en la... En el, del, no, del grupo. Ver, no, no, sí, sí, tiene razón. Aquí estoy viendo en el, en el WhatsApp. Es she también. Ah, pues igual. Entonces sería sería eh, lo mismo, solo que ahí sería el... el, 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 el presente. El, is read it. The books. Is read it. Is. Era, eran de los ejemplos que vimos ayer. El libro está siendo leído. Okay. Is read by it, her. By her, cabal. By, la tercera es. es ¿Hola? La tercera es el pasado. La tercera es pasado. I played video games yesterday. Entonces sería video game. Was, con, con video. Ahí sería where video games were played yesterday by, by me. Video game were new were played by me. Were played. Were played porque es pasado es plural. By me. Mm -hmm. El otro es también Chi. El otro, pero me voy a video games were played. Yeah, the new dress. She bought, que ella compró un vestido nuevo. Que uh -huh. sería a new dress. Como es eh, singular, a new dress was bought, bought by her. Was bow compró mm -hmm. by her. El tercero, my mother. My mom, my mother, my mom. ¿Cómo le pusieron? Oh, my, my mom. mom by my mom cooked fried chicken. Entonces sería fried chicken. Was cooked. Está en pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Was cooked. Cuando termine en ed, el verbo es pasado. Sí. Was cooked by my mom. By my mom. By my mom sería. By, by my by my mom. Uh -huh. By la otra sería. ¿Cuál es la otra? He opened the door. Entonces sería, the door was opened by her. Ahí sería, the door. The door was the door. opened by her. 
was open. Opened by her. Hi, Edgar. Edgar, uh, I'm trying to get Hi. you someone here, brother, because. Okay. You were supposed to be with. What happened to the person who was with you here? I don't. Uh, it was Edson. He. He. I don't know. He got disconnected. He okay. He lost connectivity, perhaps because of the rain, uh, perhaps, uh, right? Yeah, probably yes. He's sending me some message to WhatsApp. Okay, I'm I'm trying to um uh, get you someone else here. Okay, I'm trying to bring in Cecilia. Okay. Because she also is alone there, right? Well, let me talk to her. Thank you. Finish. Oh, did All you finish, the... Ceci? Yes. Okay. So, so help Edgar uh, with whatever questions he might have, okay? Because he was okay. he was working with someone else, but that person got disconnected. Okay, so thank you so oh, much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Do a what? Read me. Hey, how are you doing? How are we doing here, guys? Everything good? Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, we have a quest, uh, several questions, teacher. Tell me, tell me. Please ask me questions. When in, in this case, with the pronouns, she, he, and the others change to, for example, for she, change to her and him in the case of he. So if you can use he instead of him, is that what you're asking me? For example, we, the, the first sentence is she cleaned the house and we, in an impossible boy, we we write the house was cleaned by her. She cleaned, yeah, she cleaned the house, right? Yeah, and then, right. yeah, and then the answer for that would be exactly the house, right, was cleaned by her. That is that is correct. So, what is your question? Yeah, that if if chance she for her and he for him. That's, yes, was... yes, yes, exactly. So if this was he, right, let's say that this was he, he cleaned the house, the house was cleaned by him. Okay. Him, right? Very good. And in the case of they and them, they yeah. and we. They cleaned okay. the house, right? You have to use the object pronoun, okay? And the okay. object pronoun for they is the house was cleaned by them. Okay. All right. What you have here, right? So this right here, these are called object pronouns, okay? All right. So okay. you have to use an object pronoun, yes. So this will okay. turn into an object pronoun, right? Because here they, they, are, they are working as subjects, but here they will be working as objects, okay? Okay. All right. Pretty good. Any other question? Um, no, I think. Uh, example, oh. when the dog. Uh, mm -hmm. When the dog, what? 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 What happens with with the dog? Moment, please. Uh, he washed the dog yesterday. Um, the, so yeah, she, the, she washed the dog yesterday, right? All right, so what about this? Yes, uh, the dog were washed by 
here yesterday. The dog was washed by her yesterday. Okay, that is the answer. The dog, the dog, right, was washed by her yesterday. Because that is the object pronoun. So object pronouns, guys, is something that we learned in a previous module, okay? So if you don't know, guys, what I'm talking about here, please study object pronouns, okay? Go to Google and study them, all right? Okay. okay. All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, but good questions, right? So we're gonna we're gonna go back now, though. Okay. okay. Let's go back. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go back now. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I was muted. <laughs> My the teacher. Guys, did you finish the exercises? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes, so let's let's take a look at your questions, okay? Because there is one more topic that I want to cover before we move on to the rest, okay? So, very good guys, very good. All right, so guys, let's go with number one. Just give me the answer. What is the answer for number one? The house were cleaned by her. The house were cleaned by her? By her. Very good, there's a mistake here. What is it guys? Where? Was. All right, it was. Right, for singular nouns, for singular nouns, we use was, right? By the way, guys, if you don't know why we're using her here, guys, si no se acuerdan, porque eso es un topic que ya lo vieron, right? Porque estamos usando her ahí. Necesitan, guys, googlear, estudien, pregúntenle al, al señor Google. Ese señor sabe bastante, right? Uh, y les digo que le pregunte porque no, no tenemos ese, ese tema en, esta, en este nivel, guys, ¿ok? Estudien object pronouns, ok? Necesito que sepan que es un object pronoun, porque vi que varios me preguntaron por qué usamos her or him, right? They are called object pronouns, ok? And they are used in the position of an object. For example, right, a he would turn into a him, right? Him. Right, him. This would be him. A she would be her, her, her right? right? Uh, they would be them, they. them, okay, etc. All right, very good, guys. Okay, number two, guys, what is the answer for number two? The book is book read is by book. her every day. Okay, the book is read by her every her. day. Okay, good job, good job. That is good. This one is good. Uh, number three, the video game. Video game. Was this game is played by me yesterday? The, the video game was now we're using was and where, right? Because we're talking about the past. Was played, okay. was played by, me played by me yesterday, right? Very good. Number four, what's the answer for number four? Go ahead. The new, four. the new was played by, by her. The, the new one, I'm sorry. A no, the a new no dress was bought, <coughs> was bought, but by her. A new dress, right? Was bought by. Was now, bought. if we if we give if we give if we give a name, guys, to the subject, we we don't necessarily need to use her, right? We can say by Dualupe, right? Yes. So we can say Dualupe instead, right? Uh, number, 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 number five. 
What's number five? Fried chicken was cooked by chicken. my mom. Fried chicken cooked by my mom. Fried chicken was was, was, cooked was cooked by my mom. Right, very good. Good job, number six. What's number six? The door was opened by her. The door was opened by her. Good job. Number seven. The building, building was, was built, built by, them by them last, last month. Was built by them last month. Very good. Good job. Eight. Tell me, tell me what, what different answers you got. Uh, I, I, the building was built last month by them. Yeah, you can you can you can say that too. Okay. All right. I'm gonna mute you guys because I can hear a lot of noise in the background. All right. Uh, if you participate, guys, you can unmute yourself. Okay. Number eight, guys. What's number eight? The dog. The dog was washed by him. The dog. Right. The dog was. Was washed, 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 washes, washed, washed by, by he, by him, by him. Yes, you do, right? Very good. Number nine. What's number nine? The letter was the letter was was wrote, wrote by me. Read, written. Oh, right. By me. Okay. And, and, guitar, number, and number 10. 10. The guitar was played. The guitar by, was played. Was played by my son. By my son. Very good. Good job. Awesome job, guys. And a plus for me. I'm sorry. I'm a plus for you, right? And a plus for you, guys. Okay. And a plus for you. That was excellent. Okay. All right. I think you got it, guys. Okay, now one last thing, guys, before we finish with this topic. Number eight is the dog's plural, not singular. Let's see number eight. The dog was washed by him. Well, the example here is grammatically correct if we talk about one dog, right? But if you say dogs, yeah, yeah, with the dogs were washed by him yesterday. So we can say that. Thank you very much. All right, so, um, so guys, so there is one more thing. There is one more thing that I want to talk about before we finish this class and is, okay, not using by, okay? So it's the same thing, guys. You know what active voice and passive voice is now, right? So let's talk about passive voice, okay? Guys, does, does anybody guys here still do not, do not know, guys, what passive voice is? Hay alguien aquí, guys, que todavía no tenga claro que es passive voice? Clear, claro, como el tequila, 9000% de, alco de alcohol. Yes, all right, beautiful, beautiful, right? Very good. Teacher, teacher, no, um, eh, bueno, teacher. no sé cómo explicarlo en español, en inglés, pero lo que me cuesta es este pasarlo de pasivo a activo. No sé. Okay, all right. Very good, very good. So we can, we can, we can practice that. Not today but we can practice that uh, tomorrow, okay? All right, we can we can use, we can do it in the other way around. Usually that's not the case, but we can do that. It's, it's really not, not complicated. But right now, guys, there's just one more thing that I wanna address, okay? So Nidia, uh, I'll give examples about that tomorrow and everybody, right? I'll give examples, that's a very good question. But just one more thing, guys, okay? So if I say, guys, uh, the building was destroyed, by them yesterday, right? Now, guys, we can talk about passive voice without using by, by, okay? What is the only difference? Guys, you can say the building was destroyed yesterday, right? We can erase this. We can do that. Cuando, guys, when do we do that? When we don't care about who did it, okay? Si no nos importa quien lo hizo, no vamos a usar by, okay? Is that clear? So, so it is yeah. it is optional, right? Oh, the car was destroyed. By whom? I don't know. Right? Oh yeah, el carro fue destruido. ¿Por quién? No sé. Right? So we're not going to use by. Okay? 
and that's it. That's that's yes. Tell me. Um, in that case, we only use the object and not the subject. You're you're not yet. Yeah, you're not gonna use the subject. No, you're not gonna use the subject. That that is correct. Okay, so you're gonna say this right. The building was destroyed yesterday. That's it, right? Uh, let's say that Chay Chayanne painted the house, right? Chayanne painted the house, okay? How do we turn this into active voice? Passive voice, I'm sorry. We can say house the house was painted. The house was painted. The house was painted, house was painted okay? Chayanne. No, if, if you don't care, right, let's say, guys, Guys, remember that this is about talking, right? This is like conversate. This is like having conversations with people, right? Guys, at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, guys. Guys, you are unmuted. I cannot hear. I can hear myself. Hold on. All right, very good. So, guys, at the end of the day, guys, this is where we are learning English to talk, right, with people. Yes or no? right yeah so when we talk with people guys we don't we don't say you know oh the house was painted by him right no guys we're not route we're not robots right we need to say guys the house you, you know what that the house was painted yesterday right the house was painted yesterday okay so that is guys we don't we don't care who did it all right, so, si vos estás hablando o si estás escribiendo y no te importa, de verdad, no es importante quién lo hizo, no usas by. Y así de simple, guys. Le quitas el by and the subject, and that's good. Okay? Sounds good? Now, your question, Nidia. Let me, we have time to address it, okay? Guys, before we move on, all right, está clarísimo, guys, clarísimo cómo transformar de active a passive y qué es active y qué es passive. Yes? All right, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so Nita was asking like the chocolate. Clear, clear like chocolate, like chocolate, right? Very good. So let's say, guys, that we say clear like chocolate is bad. That's unclear. <laughs> the house was painted by Cheyenne, right? Let's let's go back to this example. And I'm going back to this example because we are going to need it. Okay. So how do we turn this into active voice? Easy, just follow the structure, guys. Okay, first of all, the, the first step, guys, is to identify what tense is this. If we have was, guys, and a past participle, what tense is that? Sample past, right? Yes? Okay, very good. Nidia, what is the structure of simple past? What is the structure of a simple past? Uh, tense, the structure. Um, seria. No Spanish. Don't say seria. That's not. Oh, that's yes. not English. <laughs> seria. Right. So what is it? Helper, guys. Helper. Where's um, subject? Uh, Cheyenne. Subject. Subject. The subject. What else? Burby. All right, Plus. then we got the verb be or key in the past, right? So we use was or where. Okay. And no, no, we are, we're not using the verb be here, guys. Guys, simple past. La estructura es simple past, guys. Super fácil. After, what comes after the subject? The verb in past? Exactly, the verb in the past, right? Verb in past. And then what else? Plus complement. Now, now this is not going to be the complement. Object. We're going to call it the object, okay? All right, plus complement, if we have a complement, okay? Very good. Good job. So this is the structure, okay? This is going to be the structure. So, so Nidia, para pasar de passive voice a active, solo identificas en qué tiempo gramatical es así, dice el verb be, was, y después dice past participle, es simple past, ¿ok? Entonces después haces una oración con la estructura. So you know that the house is the object, right? 
This would be the object in the sentence, okay? And this would be the subject. So in this case, how would you transform that? Follow the structure, right? And what is the structure? Who was the subject? Cheyenne. Cheyenne, right, yeah. Cheyenne? Mm -hmm. And then, verb in the past, painted, painted the house. Painted, painted, painted the house. The house. Very good. And that's it. Did that answer your question, Lydia? Yes. Okay, very good. Easy like that, right? Beautiful job, guys. Any other question, guys? Um, in Tell this us. case, how I identified that a sentence is in passive voice? All of the same structure? that identify right. that's okay let me answer that question for you guys if you ever see guys and i'm, I'm going to talk about simple present and and, and simple past because those are the ones that we've seen so far if you ever see guys this over here the verb be plus followed by by um by past participle that is passive voice okay all right Siempre que vean el verb be followed by pa past participles, that is passive voice, okay? No es que tenga un by, es esto, esto le va a decir. Si fuera is painted, same thing, right? El verb be no deja de ser verb be, no importa en qué tiempo, en qué tiempo gramatical esté, okay? Si ven verb be seguido por past participles, then that's passive voice, okay? That's how you can identify it. Right, very good question. That's a very good question. Anything else? We're good. How do you feel, guys? Have you learned anything these days? So far, so good. You. All right, great. So, guys, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, we're gonna start with the topics from section two. And tomorrow, guys, we're gonna go over the answers from section two and the midterm. Okay, guys, necesito que antes de la clase terminen. Guys, voy a mutear porque no escucho, no me escucho. Hold on. I mean, I can hear myself. So, there you go. So, guys, mañana, okay. Mañana vamos a hablar. Eh, Le voy a dar las respuestas de la sección 2 y el midterm. Entonces, ustedes necesitan haber terminado antes de eso antes de que yo dé las respuestas, right? Porque si no, ¿de qué les sirve si les doy las respuestas así? Got it? All right, okay. so you need to have finished them first, okay? So, guys, thank you very much. Okay. Enjoy, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. I see you. Good night.